But welcome back uh, to the Minder Cracker. We're back on the Mind Crack server, and today we're working on the Nether Hub expansion. I was, uh, I think I was sprinting around. And when you sprint around, of course, the little field of view gets a little bit narrower, and, or I guess it gets, it gets bigger. It gets bigger. The radius of things you can see gets bigger. And I felt like messing around with it. Yeah, I almost never change it from normal. So I thought since we're in this like weird cubic space of the Nether Hub expansion, it'd be fun to mess around with uh, the Quake Pro setting. It almost looks like an old FPS level. Not really. No, it doesn't because it's just a big open room right now. So anyway, uh, I've been doing a little work on this guy. Oh, I also turned off the view bobbing since we're going with the Quake Pro thing. So you just move. It's like I'm a ghost or something. I'm just sort of floating above the ground. I can't even tell that... Yo, there it is. Okay. Couldn't tell the slowdown from the soul sand. And another weird thing that happens is that everything gets really tall when you look down or look up. Look how high that looks. Let's compare and contrast, shall we? Options. Field of view normal. Yeah, it's not that far above us. It's a cube. It's, it's literally a cube. Put it back to Quake Pro. The difficulty on the server is still on easy. I think that's a... I don't think it's supposed to be set like that. It's always been on either hard or normal, I think. Anyway, we've been doing some work. So, I have wasted so much time running back and forth to my base making healing potions because of getting shot by ghasts and also from, like, falling off of things while I was building this. And I just got sick of it. So uh, what I decided to do was put up some walls along the outside of the whole thing. Well, this is kind of trippy. I'm just kind of floating. And then you look down. It looks like, oh, I'm going to fall down this this deep chasm. Ah! <laughs> it's only two blocks. Oh, I did uh, I did make some speed potions, by the way, which I'll, we'll mess around with them in a bit. But I put a big square along the outside. I want to have some sort of details on the inside that have some depth where they sort of... Here, let me, let me head back inside so I can point at things and explain things. Okay. So, for each wall, we've got two tunnels that uh, people can use to link up to their bases. Then we've got the nether portal there. This one has three, so there's one there, one there, and one there. That one leads back to the main spawn area, uh, the, the main nether hub. And each of these things, dude, look how tall he is, oh my god. Uh, each of these has this sort of, I guess we'll call it like a concave pyramid step thing where it steps down. And I wanna, I'm thinking about using some of those kind of ideas in this empty space and I wanted a certain amount of depth to work with. I also think these these squares here with a different material look kind of neat. And I may just push those back a few blocks. But I wanted a certain amount of depth to work with. So I said, I'll kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to block off uh, the line of sight for ghasts. For the most part, anyway. There's still gaps. But I'm going to block off and make it much easier to build in here. And since I've done that, it's, it's become much easier. I'm still falling off of things, taking fall damage, carrying around healing potions, but it's, it's gotten much better. You can see, look, at there's no fires. I mean, there's a few over there, and there's a few up there. But before, this place was a lag fest with all the fires going on. So I built these walls, and I gave myself just sort of a, a three-block clearance there. And then I started thinking, and I remembered something someone told me in the comments, or, you know, a suggestion, a suggestion, the suggestion was, well, let me back up, the, the, the problem was, uh, how do we get from all these different tunnels, at first I wanted to put some staircases in here, and make it look sort of like an MC Escher type thing, um, and have staircases going up and down, the problem with that is that there's no, oh, there's a gas over there, you see him, there's no glass staircases, so anything I use is going to be solid, and it's going to block the view of all this detailing I want to do. And so, like, if we have a staircase here, it could go straight across from there and then down to there. And also, there was some sort of, like, measurement issues. So if we take a staircase there, 
it's gonna end up way over here, not over here. So I would have to switch back the staircases. And the whole thing was just, I wasn't really satisfied with it. And someone in the comments said, why don't you put the stairs uh, behind the tunnels, like in the wall, have the staircases in the walls, and then it wouldn't obstruct any of the visuals at all. And I thought, wow, that's a, that's a good idea. The simplest solutions are usually the best. And so like this bridge right here, somebody built this. I'm eventually gonna take it down. If you rebuild it, I will find you. <laughs> I have a certain set of skills. Uh, but if you carry around ender pearls, uh, you can just shoot one across. I may eventually put in a, well, that's not a torch. I may eventually put in uh, a, a re regen beacon right there. I, I don't I don't know exactly how to set up a beacon in the nether and what you have to do, what the requirements are, but uh, I will look into that. I don't I don't have one to give yet, but uh, oops, that is something we can do eventually. Uh, anyway, okay, so I built some some staircases along the outside, and we'll go uh, walk through them a bit and mess around. Actually, I want to keep those on the bar. Let's put the potions there. I want to mess around with the potion of speed, since we're doing the Quake Pro thing. I want it. Let's just get as extreme as possible. All right, so that's speed one. It lasts eight minutes, so we can mess around with it for a while. Whoa! Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> Look at the! Oh! Oh my God! Okay, that's speed one. Uh, with Quake Pro and sprinting and the view bobbing off. Let's go up here. Oh my gosh, it's so tall. And let's go look at the staircases. So this cobblestone here, all of the uh, the platforms, I'm kind of sick of all the zombie pigmans all over the place. And I've had to run for my life multiple times fighting zombie pigmen after I mistakenly click one with my pickaxe trying to break blocks and they just sort of drop down or walk into the frame or whatever. Uh, but any of these platforms where they could potentially spawn on, I think will eventually be re replaced by glass of some type. Maybe a gray glass to sort of, so so that it sort of matches the, the stone brick stairs. Anyway, okay, so let's, uh, let's go over there. Let's go over to where you would come in if you're coming from the spawn area. This is so trippy. I hope I'm not giving anyone like a headache or something. It'll just be for this video. I won't do this all the time. Uh, it is kind of fun, but I, I know it, it's probably going to get old really quickly. Whoa, I'm going so fast. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's uh, whoa, this tunnel's so tall. By the way, we're online with, well, we were online with Arcus and the Wintage Beef. Now it's just the Wintage Beef. So you come in here. Um, you ride the rail line, or you ride a horse, or you're taking this, oh gosh, this ladder. Or you take this little ice thing, any of the three. You come here, and you think, oh, here's the, uh, and imagine this is in here. And it's all finished, and looks pretty. It's got nice detailing. Uh, there's no gaps, etc. cetera. Um, so, let's say you're vintage beef, and you've selected, I don't know, maybe that tunnel. You can go, whoop. Maybe I, no. Oh, that kind of works, but you get the idea. You could do that. You could do it that way. This is so weird. Whoa. And I do have, uh, I set my beacon at the, I almost said the lens, at the Arcology. I set the beacon at the Arcology for speed two as well. We're gonna go there in a bit and mess around with that. So you come here. And you need to get there. This is sort of like, it's almost like a sculpture now, I guess. It's not going to have any function. Um, there would, and you need to get over there. So you can either go this way or that way around in a loop. Right now, the only spur, so to speak, are the paths. Whoops. Okay. Um, that's not the way you would normally do it. Yeah, maybe a regen beacon would be good <laughs> going with the, uh, the way I'm designing this area. Eventually, these staircases will be, you know, be enclosed. They will be in their own tunnel. You won't get shot at from here. It'll all look pretty. So you come down here. That's where the portal is. 
And that's the only one that's a dead end so far. I'm probably gonna link it up on this side so that it's not a dead end, so that you can go straight through across to there. But you need to get over to the other side. So you just follow the staircases. Whoa! <laughs> and that won't be an issue. Don't worry, I'm gonna give it walls. We will give it walls later. You just follow it around like this. It's uh, it's not totally direct. It's not direct, but it's not um, it's not a total mess either. And then you're here. So this one would be vintage beefs. You know, theoretically, I don't know which one he's gonna use, uh, or if he's gonna use one at all. If anyone's gonna use one, dude, these guys are so annoying. So you would get here. Then this would be the little viewing thing into this craziness, and then you would have like a little room here. That, that you could personalize, like most nether hubs, and that would lead, your tunnel would lead off, you know, in that direction. You could go visit other people's tunnels like this. And I think the only time I really put a kink in it, I didn't put a kink in it, but it's sort of just by the, I don't know, the geometry of having to go up and down. Like, the nearest one to here, if we go around clockwise, the nearest one to here is way up there. So you have to go kind of like this. And I'm thinking of just adding, I'm not, I haven't decided yet. And let me know what you think in, in the comments. Uh, I'm thinking of adding a lot more staircases, but I'm wondering if that would make it too confusing. And then people might not think that was fun. It might be funny for like a second and then people would get sick of it. You know, we have to think of the functionality and you know, the practical concerns of people running around. And you know, when people come here for the first time, uh, it needs to make sense. It can be cool, and it can ha we can have these crazy staircases, but it I don't want it to be too confusing either. Because um, <laughs> I was thinking of just having the staircases going up and down, up and down, up and down. Maybe not. Maybe we don't do that. We've got 2.30 left on this. That's a good way of gauging your time of recording. I mean, normally I just look at the clock. A little YouTube uh, background secret here. Uh, I just look at the clock, and then I'll say, like, all right, we're going to be putting out like a 25 minute video, I'll add 25 minutes to the clock and try to stop around then. And if there's multiple segments, I'll add them up and whatnot. But you could also like say like, all right, we're gonna have uh, three speed one potions for our video. All right, what was I gonna do next? Oh, yeah, this is the only time there's a kink in it right here, deliberately, right here. So going counterclockwise, if you wanna go that way, around this guy, the next porter's on the same level right there. And I just thought that was a little boring <laughs> just to go straight around the corner like that. And so I just put an up staircase and a down staircase and that's that's it. Up staircase, whoa buddy. Okay, let's go get this sucker. Come get some. Oh, he's far away. Oh, okay, we both missed. Okay, now we're in danger here. Take that! Oh, he's far away. Yeah, come closer. Can't really move very fast. I can't really juke things when I've got the bow held and I'm holding shift because I'm worried about falling off of this. Yeah, he's super far. Whoa! And it's... I'm freaking myself out looking up and looking down because uh, the... The screen is so weird with the field of view. Any okay, fine. <laughs> Let's leave him be. Maybe he'll leave us be if we just uh, stop letting him look at us. Whoa, we have another one over there. Yeah, this is a problem. And we will eventually close everything off so that people come th coming through here. That was the original idea, right? That people, wow, he looks far away. That's probably affecting my aim a bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it still still went off. Where is this other guy? He's he's over there now. I'm trying to put all these damn fires out. You keep lighting them on fire. Uh, I won't even tell you how many times I've run around here and put out fires. It's it's a lot. It is a lot. What was I saying? Um, yeah, we will eventually enclose everything. The original idea, I mean, the original problem was that this was just turning into a cratered wasteland from all of the gas shooting fireballs and everything was on fire. It was just a pain in the butt to travel through here. That was my original purpose, to make a small, 
a small little nether hub extension, extension expansion. Uh, so that we won't have to do that. And as always, things have spiraled out of control <laughs> into a project that will consume me for weeks and months. But uh, I think it's cool, so I don't mind. I don't mind because I'm having fun making it. Hey, you! Oh, dang. Tried to knock him off. Hey! Hey! Haha! <laughs> Take that! All right, uh, what next? Um, you know what? I want to play with the... the field of view sliders just a little bit. And so I've got a few speed two potions. And the arcology is set up with speed two. I want to run over there and mess around. Then we'll come back. We're going to do a little bit of detailing. Oh, yeah, my timing, like, it's hard to, it's hard to guess those jumps because the screen just looks so different from what it normally does. Let's get a few more of these. Okay, speed two. And let's uh, actually do doop, do doop, in that. Okay. So if you don't know where my base is, I, I am going to make another tunnel. Dang it! All right, we're getting this guy. If I just ignored them and stayed out of their line of sight, my life would probably probably be easier. Let's see if we got a gas tier. I have gotten quite a collection of gas tiers from being here. I don't see one. Put out more fires, and then we will head back to the arcology. Uh, next video, we will resume building on the arcology. With the next phase, the next phase will include an iron golem farm. They've been changing the way v uh, villagers work and iron golem farms. They're not automatic anymore. You have to actually kill them because the iron is a rare drop. Uh, so I need to take that into consideration. Let's get rid of that fire too. It's, it's bugging me. I uh, also need a pumpkin farm, is I think the next farm, like farm farm I want. Because, well, uh, I have some jack-o'-lanterns because I started a little impromptu pumpkin farm because I want to light up this guy in certain ways. Uh, but, uh, I want to speed up the process. So, uh, a pumpkin farm is definitely next on my list of farm farms. So that, whoa! Oh my god, it looks like we're barely moving at all. Oh my god! Oh, I can't wait to get to the Arcology. The, uh... The, um... What am I trying to say? The the beacon with speed boost on it. That should stack with this to a certain extent. We should get an even more extreme effect. Oh, buddy! So this is, uh, this is how I've been going to get back to the Arcology for a long time. And I'm gonna make a proper tunnel... Uh, at a certain point, I'm going to pick one of those. And one of the things I was kind of waiting for, which I probably just shouldn't even bother, is I want to make a gold farm at one point as well, which also is no longer automatic because uh, gold is no longer an automatic drop from zombie pigmen. It's a rare drop, which means you have to actually kill them. You have to trigger their death. 30 seconds. Uh, but I need to put a portal up in the air, or a series of portals up in the air of the Arcology. Up there. And I'm worried about it interfering with this portal, so I need to figure that out before I, uh, I make my nether portal, or my nether tunnel, my, the official one. And this guy may need to move backwards more? I'm not sure, because it needs to not conflict with the portal there. So that's, that's just, whoa! That's something I need to think about. Oh, the, the potion ran out, but now we have speed two here. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. That, that is straight up and down, and look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, didn't have its V8 today. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see, do I have a, I know I have a speed one. This is so weird to navigate because it... Oh, okay, let's come up here. I think... Do I have an uh, ender chest up here? Well, okay, fine. I don't... Actually, I'm not sure I, I actually do. I mean, I have one way up there, but there's one right here, so let's just use this one. 
Um, and I think you can overwrite speed one with speed two. I think that's the way it works. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> this is really trippy. So that's us. Uh, oh, we still have. No, that's the uh, beacon, speed two. With field of view slider set to Quake Pro. Woo! And what else? Oh, I guess the view bobbing off. Okay, and then let's take a speed one. Can we make some kind of benchmark so I can like visually see if we get faster? Should we just like take the donutiness of our donut? Like the, uh, how elliptical does our donut become? That is circular right there. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's faster. Oh my! That's a little bit faster. That became more elliptical. And turning feels like it takes forever. I mean, physically, it's taking the same amount of time. I think I'm turning slower, though, because, like, it's, it feels so weird. It's weird hearing the footsteps while uh, my, my like, head isn't bobbing. If It looks like I'm just floating over the land, but then I hear these footsteps. Pop, 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 pop. Wow. And this thing was already tall to begin with. Let's get, I want to, can we look all the way up to the top? Let's run over here. See, look at the the moon, the mun. Let's just call it the mun. Let's pretend we're in the Kerbal Space Program universe. Wow. Wait, where's my speed? Did it run out? It couldn't have run out. Was that a speed two? Or did, did it not do anything? I could have sworn it did something. Here's speed two. Speed two. Maybe it's just my imagination. It doesn't look like they look, looks, yeah. Hmm. I only have the one speed two. I wonder if it's the same effect. Maybe that was just my imagination because I'm so unused to the way it looks. I don't know. Don't know. Maybe they're just not displaying properly, but it looks, it looks about the same as it did before. But yeah, that looks like really vertical. It's already vertical, but it looks really vertical now. You Okay, all right, anyway, enough, <laughs> enough fiddling around. What was I gonna do today? All right, I wanted to mess around with some lighting. And let's use our speed potions to get back to the nether hub. Let's see, and we still have 30 seconds left of that. Goodbye, Arcology, we shall return. All right, let's head back. I think maybe I may just travel like this f forever. The uh, the new the new snapshot, which I don't, the server is not on the new snapshot. Yes, yeah, suck it! Ding, ding, ding. The new server is not, or the new snapshot, the server is not on the new snapshot, but uh, in the new snapshots, which we're not on, in case that wasn't clear. I don't have a speed one. They last longer. I guess let's use one of these to get back. In the new snapshot, minecarts are quite a bit faster. And if we could uh, mess fiddle around with that, I would definitely do that to see what our field of view does because they are faster than horses now, which is nice. They're actually useful again. But there's this weird effect. Well, it's not weird. It's actually pretty understandable where if you're going too fast around a corner, you will just uh, fly right off the rails, which is funny. I thought that was a gas for a second, but it's the nether hub. Okay, let's get, let's put those in here. Did I not pick, I thought I picked up a uh, gas tier. I guess I did not. I want the ones that last longer. There we go. Did I make mostly speed twos? I must have. Yeah, they're all speed twos. All right, but I wanted to mess around with lighting. So I've been kind of just discovering things by accident almost as I've been building this. One of the thing was the pathways along the outside, which I guess kind of came from a comment as well. At first I was gonna put them in between here 
and, he, and this wall, but then I realized I didn't have enough room, so I decided to put them over here. Um, but one of the other things is I was building these guys, and because this is kind of closed in here, see how this has, there's no gaps, you can't look out through this direction, uh, I put a torch down to mark where this wall was. So, let's see, let's go over here. So that torch right there is on the, the same plane as that big wall that's blocking the gas from shooting us. And then I noticed something. You notice like the subtle lighting effect that happens there? Where we've got a little bit of darker exterior of the, the portal and then there's like a light just around the corner. I was like, ooh, what's around that corner? Now we do have some light bleeding through like right there. You can see that the torch kind of makes things... Oh, gosh. Woo! The torch, uh, the light bleeds through. So let's actually, let's do this. So that it doesn't do that. There. And also on this one. The torches were bleeding through, yeah, but I want to I wanna accentuate that effect. Because I think it's a cool effect. It says, ooh, come explore me. There's something just around the corner, and I'm mysterious and ever so slightly brighter. <laughs> you can do it right here, too. Oops. There we go. Let's go look. Woo! Yeah, okay, you see? So now that wall is darker. So we get a, a much, it's, a, it's more pronounced, this dramatic effect. It still looks like there's a little bit of light bleeding through there. What is that from? Yeah, yeah, there. Anywhere else? And maybe right there. We'll leave that exposed. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Yes. Okay. Check that out. So I definitely I want to work with this idea. Lighting is always like an afterthought in my in my builds. All of them. It's like, okay, everything's built, let's light it. Let's figure out how to light it. <laughs> and try to keep it uh, a minimum of torches, because torches are kind of ugly. But I think that's very cool. I want to work with that. I also wanted to have some lighting in the walls here. Um, but we, we want that to be the big deal. So let me, uh, let me set up just a little, a little test here, and then we'll take a... Whoa, gosh! We'll take a look at it. All right, well, I ran into a little bit of a problem. Uh, or, you know, I just sort of figured out something. I, I guess I should phrase it that way. I didn't run into a problem, I figured out something. So I want to have jack-o'-lanterns as recessed lighting. I guess we could use glowstone. But it's going to take a lot of glowstone. And it's not even like... I don't want the lighting to be visible. I want it to be recessed. So like right now, no lighting visible. But we still get the, you know, the dark exterior, the bright interior. Let's go see what's down this path. And, you know, so... Whoa, gosh! Wah, wah, wah! <laughs> and but besides which, glowstone can get broken by gas. I missed. Uh, not that any of this would be exposed to a gas. When we're done anyway... Hey! No, you didn't move. I'm always... Every time I try to lead my shot, they don't... Hey! They don't move. There you go. Okay. Um, but, okay, so, as I was saying before, you can't see the lighting here. You can see it there. I wonder, did he... Let's go check. I am turning into a gas tier collector. There's one, yeah. May as well get the experience as well. Um, I, uh, I set them up slightly different over here. They're like this. And the reason this, the two are different is because I was thinking, uh, if we're going to put a tunnel around here, we don't want you to see the jack-o'-lanterns as we're going around. Like, we don't want to see them as we're here. And so I may need to wall that off, which is why I opened it up like that up there. And I was thinking, in order to make them... A little bit more minimal. We could put glass here. Another way we could do it. Let's try. Let's try one thing. Um, let's see. Let's go. Actually, let's go to another one so we can compare and contrast. And for now, we won't take the actual path. We'll just do it this way. 
Okay, so they would be here. Oh, we have a ladder there. Uh, but we can get rid of that. Oh gosh, don't hit the pigman. Don't, pigman. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to hit you. Get out of here, berserker. Get out. Um, ordinarily, they were there. Or at least, not ordinarily, but, you know, in the, the way I did it in the other places. But what if we did this? And put them there. Then we could have something like this. Do, 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 do. Like that. And then if we had glass here. Actually, let's, uh, let's do this. So that you can't see the, the faces is why I did that. And then we'll do the same thing there. So the reason I'm bringing all this up is that I want to use some colored glass, probably gray or something, to make that a little more minimal. And I don't want to waste a bunch of glass that's going to get busted up by the gas fire. So, uh, ergo, the obvious next thing to do is to completely enclose this guy. Completely enclose it so that the gas can't shoot in here, or at least it's a lot more rare. So I think it's time to close these gaps. And the uh, the corners, hmm, maybe I should work on the tunnel design, I don't know. But uh, I, th I definitely think before I start adding glass, we need to make it safe from the gas. Glass, gas, did I say those right? I think I did actually. Uh, but yeah, I want something that's kind of nice and recessed. And if we put some gray stained glass there, actually, you know what, there may be, I may have snarked, uh, I may have taken some from the he right here. And we're gonna, part of the process will be uh, making this connection look nice and we'll repair it. But let's just see what the gray looks like and the white. See how well they covered up. I think the gray is going to do a good job of blending in with the stone walls. Yeah, that's a little bit better. That one, not so much. Uh, but anyway, I think it's time to close this sucker in, but next time we shall be working on the arcology, setting the groundwork for our Iron Golem farm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below in the description. Not, God, I always say that in the description. No, in the comments section. That is why they call it the comments section. If you weren't, whoa, if you weren't aware, whoa. That's one way to do it. Yeah, maybe we, sh maybe we should add like little jumping puzzles. We should definitely have that be a possibility for people who are in a rush. They can just jump right through, twink, and take a little fall damage, twink. We'll see you later. Take it easy, have a good day, bye-bye.